I am deeply disappointed and concerned that his time with us was canceled uh, by the Trump transition team, preventing us from exercising our authority and responsibility on behalf of the American people. I also have strong reservations regarding the language of the bill that is likely to come over from the Senate tomorrow. One major shortcoming, again, is that the bill fails to designate General Mattis by name. With that, Mr. Chairman, I will not support the legislation under consideration today. Thank you, and I yield back. Mr. Gallego. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, it's been quite interesting uh, being a Marine uh, and an infantry Marine uh, having to debate this issue, uh, not just with my fellow colleagues, but uh, among the many Marines that have contacted me uh, through Facebook in some very colorful uh, language, but it does show <laughs> Marines are Marines. Uh, but it does show that you know the, this this uh, general has a great following. Um, he is well respected. I respect him. Um, I wish that he would be here, not because I wanted to uh, take part in the advice and consent clause that the Senate should be doing, uh, but to actually talk about historically what are we actually doing. I fear not General Mattis. I fear the generals 20 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, uh, when this is another waiver that comes in, uh, whether it's a, a general that just barely left uh, military service, uh, and 20, 30 years from now, much like we were doing uh, in Hask, uh, we start looking at the record and we start trying to decide and decipher what those members of Congress were saying and thinking. Like, let's be clear about one thing: when General Marshall. Uh, was given this waiver, there was a lot of debate around this. And it was a debate among mostly men who uh, a vast majority of them had just finished serving in World War II. Uh, they had vast respect for uh, General Marshall. Uh, they had a, a very intimate understanding uh, of the military. And even then, those members of Congress were saying that this might be uh, a bridge too far. And so for us uh, to sit here and say that what we're doing is not necessarily significant, uh, I think is incorrect. We are significant in the timeline of history when it comes to setting precedents uh, in this uh, Armed Services Committee and in Congress. So, you know, I will be voting no, and I encourage people to vote no because we need to make sure that we're establishing the historical argument and reinforcing the historical argument for civilian control of our military. This is not a vote against uh, General Mattis. This is a vote for us, if you vote no, for us to continue to support the idea of civilian control of the military, which has been enshrined uh, since the founding uh, of this country. And I think it's 